Yes, 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 y'all. It's ice cream and cake in the TV. Bobby drinking it in the building, your host. And I have hot kitty cat, Tiffany Steiger, and SoCal Barbie at Off the Planet Productions today. And I'm going to be interviewing them, talking about their endeavors, what they got going on, projects up and coming. Tiffany got a lot of things going on. SoCal has a lot of things going on. So first, I'm going to start off with Tiffany because we have history together. She's an off-the-planet, like, alumni up in here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she did plenty of stuff with me on my album. She done done plenty of stuff on my album. Um, Let's Get the Mood Right. That's the song that we got oh, together. Oh, yeah, we sure and, do. With me, her, and uh, Al, yeah. Al T. You know what I'm saying? Plus, she has... The singles up in here of her own, yeah. the Omar Gooden. That's a single that's out currently right now on yes. all digital platforms. So y'all go get that hot kitty cat. You know what I'm saying? Hey, kitty, kitty. Hey, hey, hey. kitty, kitty. That's the name of the song produced by me. You know what I'm saying? At Off the Planet. Yeah. So um, Tiffany, other than that, let's get into this whole thing that you're doing. I see you got the Celebrity Magazine. Yes. And now you have an artist. Yes. So introduce your artist for the Ice Cream and Cake and the fans. Hi, everybody. I'd like to introduce my artist. This is SoCal Barbie. Hi. She is one of my newest talents that I have decided to take on. The reason why I like her so much is because her ambition and her drive is just phenomenal. Um, we just shot her music video um, yesterday. And um, I want you guys to stay tuned for her new release, her new single, which is called Unleashed which is like breaking barriers and it's just like a really good song. And I will let SoCal Barbie tell you guys a little bit more, but we've been working really hard to make sure that we bring you guys good quality. <laughs> exactly. I like yeah. that. I can't wait to hear the song. Who was the uh, song produced by? Oh, um, so um, his name is um, Shellshock. He's Shellshock. A, yeah, he's mm -hmm. a producer. He worked with like... Uh, um, Compton Inc. or something. I think that uh, okay. it's in Compton. His, he yeah. said he didn't work with Compton Inc., Dr. Dre. He didn't work yeah. with so many okay, people. Okay, so y'all yeah. hear that. A, 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 a producer with a little name behind them yeah. on the track. Your first single, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's just you're going single by single, or is this a single from an up and coming album? Because they want to know I'm the title a, of the um, album too. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. So, she's got her EP. She's yeah. dropping okay, EP. the EP's yeah, coming, the EP. you guys. What's so. the name of the EP going to be? So they can be looking out for that. Um, I haven't decided on the name, but it's a name um, that ring a bell. It's called Mother May I. So I might do Mother May I, but I just have to make sure the world know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. You know, we got to right. be a little more definite in Define it. Define it a little, Define little more. It a little bit more. Not to confuse people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so give them like a little, pre uh, not a preview, but who is some of your inspiration as you becoming a, uh, so you rapping and singing or are you no, just I'm rapping? No, I'm a rapper. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, I love Nicki Minaj, of course. I think she is the ultimate, the mega, the great. Of course, I love Nicki Minaj. Okay. And I love Megan because I love the way Megan dance. I don't think there's no female in the industry that could get on the stage and tear it up like Megan did Stallion, but I'm here now, so. Okay. <laughs> so That's we, what's I'm, like, yeah. I'm like Megan, so I like, she, I like to grow with Megan. I listen to Megan all day on the freeway. Driving, I love me some Megan. So you yeah. inspired by Megan and, and Nikki. And, Nikki. Okay. and the City Girls too, a little that's bit. Yeah. City Girls too. So that's, like um, the City Girls too. I forgot all the names of the City Girls, but I know they're Miami hot right now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. most mm -hmm. definitely. So yeah. your music is going to uh, gonna be on that same page. Basically. basically. Okay, yeah. cool. So that yeah. gives them a little bit of insight yeah. with, and a visual so they mm -hmm. can know what to expect. Yeah. All right, so what is the project maybe dropping? Um, I mean, well, what's the single? With the, the video just released a single yeah. two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. Two days and they already got a star on um, iTunes, so, yeah, so a lot of people are listening to it already. People are tuning in. Already. So yeah. all digital platforms, are, but mm -hmm. on iTunes. That's where that's I got the, the start. That's, that's what really I use. That's, that's my start. favorite. It's on okay. all platforms, but I use Apple Music on iTunes. Okay, so. cool. You're trying yeah. to get that Apple deal, huh? I understand. <laughs> so, I, I see a lot of artists is jumping on that yeah, Apple deal. Yeah, Apple is no joke. Yeah, we're, trying to, we're trying to make deals. sure that the project is going to go viral. Like We've been working on like some viral stuff, getting like 20,000 views on the videos at the time and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like So the project is So let really them know what the channel is. You got to let yeah. them know what her channel is and your channel is as far as um, YouTube so they can subscribe. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So, well, my channel is SoCal Barbie. It's spelled as my IG and everything, which is SoCal, S-O-C-A-L, Barbie with three E's, SoCal Barbie. And I will be dropping my Unleashed video. I'm hoping to drop it by my birthday, February 7, to have like a, um, a video release uh, party. I'm thinking about that because I'm Aquarius, so I want to drop it in this season. Okay, nice. great, yeah, so, great. That's nice. what's up. And you That's guys good. can find me under um, Hot, H-O-T-T, K-I-T-T-Y, K-A-T, that's Hot Kitty Cat. You guys can stream um, on to the YouTube platform or you guys can also go on to the Instagram platform. We do have another project that we are dropping as well that's called, um, we're actually doing something unique that I do want to talk mm -hmm. about a little bit. Yeah, let This is going to be so fun because the world ain't going to see nothing like this. <laughs> we actually took my favorite, um, I had a, a manager that had got me this, track that had Tory Lanez on there when I f was first like doing like not first doing music but when he first was kind of getting hot and then I didn't know about the legal side of it so I didn't release the song but the song is really hot because the manager that I had he ended up getting locked up <laughs> and so uh -huh. he signed over his label to me but I still didn't know the legal side of that song so I kind of like have it as a reference point but I didn't know, like, he was like, no, no, we own it and stuff. It came with it, you know, we worked that out already. But I still right, didn't have right. that paperwork, so I never released the song. But it, it was like, it has Tory Lanez on the hook that's, like, singing it, and it's really hot. So I love Tory Lanez, because I'm all into Canada. Um, so the thing is, is that I took his song, Ain't Been Broken a Minute, and I did a female version of that song to kind of clown, but it, I know how hot Tory Lanez is, and he's really, really good. So I was making sure that us females was coming strong on that song. So everybody that heard it was like, yo, y'all did y'all thing on that song. So y'all going to um, see that coming on World Star, and it's going to be hot, and that's going to be Ain't Been Broken a Minute, but it's the female version of that song. Wow. So we just kind of uh, <laughs> we just kind of ripped that beat apart, and it's, okay. it's hot. It's hot. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So we're gonna do a video to that actually next Saturday. So if you and Sharon wanna come and stuff, okay. we're gonna do it. That's exactly. what's up. That's yeah. what's up, man. We might have to slide on by. Yeah. Slide on in and bring some cooking attention. <laughs> yeah. We might do hot. some other oh, yeah. pop up yeah. kitchen. We have a man. We have a, um, it's gonna be a mansion shoot, so yeah. it's gonna be hot. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I, if I we was about to food, bring that up. That yeah. would be really that would be good. Yes, we most definitely would be honored to cater the video shoot. That would be amazing. Off the Planet pop yes. up kitchen at the video shoot to yes. the video. Yeah, we gotta make that happen. See what that, that work can do. We you were doing that. the interview and then you land again. Yeah, that's what it's all about networking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what we do here at Off the Planet Production slash pop up kitchen and podcast because this yes. is what it's going to be on Ice Cream and Cake and the TV. Absolutely. This interview. So you're going to see and hear you guys on the YouTube channel, Ice Cream and Cake and the TV. And then we're going to edit it up for the podcast as Ooh, well. Oh, nice, okay. nice. Okay, for Spotify it. and all other different, right. okay. you know, yep. the podcast platforms. Oh, I like that. That's good. So, That's I nice. wanted to, when you said the mansion, I wanted to go back to the, a question about, tell me what's going on with the mansion. I've been seeing <laughs> all these scenes on Instagram. Uh, Is that for your show? Because you got a reality yeah, show I too, a, right? Um, I have a new reality show. I was just... Um, I was shooting my sizzle for it. It's called, it's like Black Entrepreneur Bosses. I so it shows that. different black entrepreneurship, like with people doing That's different women, things. That's women though, right? Or is it, it's not, it's not specifically women. Okay. All we bosses. have male, all we have all different bosses. There's male bosses and then there's females. But um, we're still casting because we still want to add like more bosses to it. But we were create starting to create like the sizzle or the trailer. Yes, um, because a couple that. people it's were dope. telling me they want to package it up for like Netflix and stuff. But um, we're still going to be shooting more, you know, content, content. for the yeah. for the trailer. I seen it, y'all yeah. pulling up the Bentleys and the mansion was looking real fly. The view, the coming down the stairs, you got the oh, you showing off, there, you showing, you you showing off the flossy purses, the, the Chanel purses, and I was like, look at my sister, man, she's right here at the mansion and shit. I gotta, I gotta find a way oh, to get up there. I gotta find a way to get up there. You know what? I should have told you and Sharon to come because it was right. so much fun. Y'all would have had a blast. We went networking there. Actually, um, our homegirl Chloe, um, she 
is real cool. I thought she was related to the Kardashians when I first met her because of her name and stuff. And she kind of looks like she could be related to them. But um, she's real hot. She's our homegirl. And she's always into, like, the mansion thing. Every, she'll hit us up out of nowhere. And you know how Chloe is. She's so last minute. She's like, Tiff, I'm here. Where are you? Oh, I'm here. Come to the mansion. Every time she comes in town, she's she's got the big house. So we're like, yeah. okay, let's 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 shoot, let's let's do our thing. Exactly, y'all yeah. need those type of bosses on yeah. the team to make the show pop. Yeah. It's that much easier. So Definitely. man, I'm proud of you, sis. Thank I'm proud you. of you. Got a new artist. Till yeah. um, but but it's more than you just rap and sing and got a show. Right. You also have um the cooking show, right? I'm not, you know what, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do it because, VH1. oh, the, I did the VH1 show, but it was about, um, Tamar Braxton and me. Yes, and tell did, the fans about oh, that, because I okay, never you got guys, to see it. I'm going to send you the episode, than, it's called VH1 right now, so if you guys go on VH1, you guys can search for a show, it's called To Catch Up Beautician. Um, Beautician. I'm on episode four with Tamar Braxton, Tamar Braxton calls me her little sister, and she's like, come on, sis, we gonna get him. Come on, <laughs> sis. And she grabbed me and we like going, boo, boo, boo. we like the police on that show. Like, we're cracking down the bad beauticians. <laughs> Wow, oh, so, so y'all busting kinda... bad beauticians out? Oh, y'all running up in people's shops saying you're not so a good funny. beautician? No, we're not doing that. So oh. we, um, <laughs> what she's doing is she has my back because she calls me her sis. Right. And she's like, sis, who jacked your hair up? Oh, Girl, wow. why is you looking like a broke down Shaka Khan? Hold on. Wait, sis, come on. Who did this? I'm like, girl, I'm not trying to tell you who messed my hair up, but she's like, come on, spill the spill the beans, girl. Spill the tea. Well, I'm okay. about to help you with this situation. So she has this thing where she was helping me to get my hair done properly and all of that stuff. So she had the celebrity stylist Johnny Wright okay. um, hook me up and stuff like that. And basically, he styled Michelle Obama's hair and things like that. So we had... Um, went through an educational process where we took the beautician that didn't do my hair right and kind of showed her like how she could be doing like how stuff is supposed to be done on how you really supposed to do the crochet when you crochet shade the weave in and stuff mm. so that's kind of what the show was oh, about that's, that's so interesting because i think we need more of that because a lot of yeah. females think they be popping with their hair <laughs> right and it's not my hair is really not it. Like, no. It's really right. not it, huh? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> okay, so now let's go back to SoCal. Yeah. So who you want to have feature on your new EP? Or who would you wish you could have a feature for? Oh. First, let's go with who you already know you got in the pocket with features. And then let's go with who you wish you could have a feature. Mm. Um, I think I could probably get one with Megan. Okay. Oh, because uh, my manager started working with her stylist. Uh, Craig, okay. so yeah. I think she can pocket that one day with me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that'll be dope. That'll yeah, be dope. her stylist is like now my business partner. So and I'm the, he's going to have um, a big show that's called Fashion Mike World to where he's going to have like Megan. I believe he said he's going to have her like, op like be the headliner for the show. So what we were thinking about doing is since we know Barb loves Megan, we're going to have her open up like, you know. So okay, it's gonna be, be pretty hot. Be yeah, really nice. yeah. So we was thinking about doing that, um, but we have it called. It's called Fashion Mike World, and it brings like the fashion and music aspects together on different levels. Where he's going to bring in um, like all of these music experts and things, and take some of the best talent that we have here, and he's going to like really get them shaped the right way and really get them moving, and then. He has the boot camp aspect of it to where he brings the academies wow, in. Wow, that's cool. And um, it's pretty hot. Okay, so cool. um, helping them put it all together. But because of COVID and the restrictions that we have now, we're thinking of other ways that we can improvise to make things a lot better with um, that whole process. So, so you guys going to do a lot of Zoom interviews or... Zoom content with back and forth with on the Zoom or was it FaceTime? That's how you're um, going to do it? He's thinking about um, doing it now in an either April or October because with the vaccines going, um, with the vaccines in, in place now, he's thinking that it should be cleared up by then. I think he wants to now move the show to like October, but I think he wants to do like the boot camps prior to the actual big show, which is like they're going to have it like something, for example, the Staples Center. Megan's going to be you know, the headliner, and then we're going to have all the designers and stuff where we bring the fashion and the music together, but it's quite interesting. 
Wow. I'll have to okay. um, give you cool. more uh, details to see like if you want to be a part of it and things like that because okay. you might find a fit for it that you Ooh. might want to work with. And you brought up the vaccine and the whole COVID thing. Yeah. And I noticed when I was scrolling through your uh, Spotify, you have a song oh, you dedicated to helping people understand what you need to really be doing <laughs> out here in the midst of this pandemic. Yes. It's called what, Wash Your Hands? Wash Your Hands, definitely. Yeah, I heard it so, and, and I, I got it. You know what I'm saying? Nice. It, it, it fits to the point. I, yeah. And I've been seeing the numbers rise. It's like at a hundred some thousand streams. When I first looked up <laughs> Well, I was looking at Hot Kitty. <laughs> I typed that in first, and then I didn't even know you had a song called Wash Your Hands. So, oh, it's it's right there, too. So I'm like, okay, let me check out Wash Your Hands. <laughs> right. And I see how many streams you got. I'm like, people was really gravitating to that song. Man, yeah, that, you, so um, thank you. Of, thank you, brother. I made that song in, um, to help people. It was more of a... Um, educational thing I see. when the when the virus was at its peak i wanted to like help people to keep them safe and you know remind them to sanitize mm -hmm. it, it was actually a fun thing and a funny thing and stuff and actually people picked it up it's like it had placements on like um different networks tv networks and stuff like that i think it had like uh, all kind of different tv channels that have that song on there and then um i i actually had talked to a publicist and he says, hey, Tiff, I want to get you on CBS. I want to do this. He's like, can you make me a song about the COVID and, and wash your hands? A safe song. And I did it. But then he didn't do anything with it. I did. I did everything with it. So, you know, he inspired me to make this song. But I ended up being the one to push it. And I ended I up. See. Yeah, they distributed it throughout, like, uh, Revolt TV. Uh, you know, it was like MTV, BT, like all of those uh networks and they were like picking it up they they sent me a report of all these tv networks that were streaming that song it's crazy that's dope i'm Thank proud you. of you sis. Like, and they were able to stream it and stuff because they, they saw it was a positive song and they said yes. it was educational so people were like we want to stream it because it's 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 a health it's fitting a health the time it's yeah. fitting what's going on right yeah. now like, everybody ain't just doing that they might yeah. throw a little lug about covid but they ain't making no whole song about right. how to how to stay safe. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I commend you on that. Thank really you. Really dope. Like, and then another song I seen on there, um, we got into your real um, storytelling bit. Like, it, it reminded me of a female Slick Rick type children's story song where you're on the run and the bounty hunters are after oh, you. Oh, I'm on the trail. Stuff. Yeah. I was, I like, was on the set with you. Yeah. I, you know what? Believe it or where not, did that I had, song um, I'm going to tell you exactly where that song came from. Um, one of my good friends, um, he's an entertainment corporate lawyer. His name is Frank Carrera. He is uh, real big into the entertainment and corporate world. And um, my partner at that time, he uh, said, hey, we have access to A&E Network. They're doing a, um, a show about a black bunny hunter that is, like, you know, chasing down people and stuff. And he says, give me some song that match. I said, all right, I'll make you one. Made that song specifically for that placement. So, and, but then, you know, people were like, hey, you know, with the Black Lives Matter and stuff, they're like, you know, this song should be dropped right now. So I talked to um, the guy that brought out Christine Aguilera, Al Gomez. He distributed the song right away. And then that's how the song ended up being out because I was not going to release that song. That song was a song I made specifically for placement. For, for placement. I was never going to release it. Some people don't understand me because sometimes I don't like even want to be in a spotlight and stuff. That's just sometimes I just make stuff for a specific reason for placement that are right. play like maybe get that bag. That yeah, placement bag yeah. is a whole sometimes different bag. Sometimes I don't even be like you know I just do stuff for certain reasons. But um, that song was made for A and E, and then. You know, I got hit up with Al Gomez, like, hey, man, what are you doing? You didn't release this song. You should release it. Come on, I need that. I need to put it on for the, they wanted to, me to have picked two songs to go for the Grammys next year. But then um, we had a deadline to meet, so I did that, and he wanted the Omar Gooding, Hey Kitty Kitty. And then he comes back to me, he's like, oh, you know, he's like, oh, we're going to see. So I was like, oh, man, I didn't want to distribute those two songs yet. So Al Gomez was the one that, you know, just encouraged me to hurry up and release those songs, so. I think it's a good move because it's going to work. Yeah. Because the numbers that they show, when those numbers show, then your bargaining power is going to be that much greater when you do come to the table with those other different situations. So yeah. I commend you with that. That's Thank dope. you. Well, we're going to wrap it up. Off the Planet Pop-Up Kitchen Yay. slash Productions Thank slash you Ice Cream and Cake in the TV. 
let the people know about your IG, your Facebook, everywhere they can reach y'all at. You know what I mean? Start off okay. with you, Tiffany, first. Yes. Um, you guys can find me on IG at hot, H-O-T-T, K-I-T-T-Y, K-A-T, hot kitty cat. Um, I'm on IG, or you can find me under Tiffany Steiger, T-I-F-F-A-N-Y, S-T-I-G-E-R. That's my Facebook. And Facebook also has a um, my music page, which is under Hot Kitty Cat, H-O-T-T, K-I-T-T-Y, K-A-T. And then you guys can also, we have another IG that's under Elite Music Promotion 9502, and I'll give it to you, SoCal Barb. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm SoCal Barbie. You can find me on IG at SoCal, S-O-C-A-L-B-A-R-B-I-E-E-E. -E -E. And um, make sure you press the follow. I really only use IG at the moment, but I have a platform on um, YouTube, SoCal Barbie as well, same as IG. And a link to my iTunes show should be on my IG, the link in my for my iTunes, so you'll better find everything there. Yeah. Cool, Thank you.